Hello welcome to Objective Question Answer MCQ's YouTube channel. With a positive vibes let's start this video. Question number 1. Whenever the surfaces in contact tend to move, or move with respect to each other, the force of friction comes into play. Option A only if the objects are solid. Option B only if one of the two objects is liquid. Option C only if one of the two objects is gaseous. Option D irrespective of whether the objects are solid, liquid or gaseous. The right answer is option D. Irrespective of whether the objects are solid, liquid or gaseous. When two surfaces in contact, tend to move, or, move with respect to each other, the force of friction, that is, static friction, or, sliding friction respectively, comes into play irrespective of whether the surfaces are solids or fluids, liquids or gases. Question number 2. In figure 12.1, a boy is shown pushing the box from right to left. The force of friction will act on the box. Option A from right to left. Option B from left to right. Option C vertically downwards. Option D vertically upwards. The right answer is option B. From left to right. The force of friction always acts in the direction opposite to the direction of motion. So, here the force of friction will act, from left to right. Question number 3. To sharpen the blade of a knife by rubbing it against a surface, which of the following will be most suitable? Option A stone. Option B plastic block. Option C wooden block. Option D glass block. The right answer is option A. Stone. Hard and rough surface like stone will generate more friction as compared to the friction generated by other given options. Hence, a stone will sharpen the blade most efficiently. Question number 4. A toy car released with the same initial speed will travel farthest on. Option A muddy surface. Option B polished marble surface. Option C cemented surface. Option D brick surface. The right answer is option C. Cemented surface. The frictional force between a polished marble surface and the ball will be the least. A toy car released on a cemented surface will travel the farthest. Question number 5. If we apply oil on door hinges, the friction will Option A increase Option B decrease Option C disappear altogether Option D will remain unchanged The right answer is option B Decrease. When oil is applied to door hinges, 
the friction will decrease due to the smoothness of the hinge surface. Question number 6. Which of the following statements is incorrect? Option A Friction acts on a ball rolling along the ground. Option B Friction acts on a boat moving on water. Option C Friction acts on a bicycle moving on a smooth road. Option D Friction does not act on a ball moving through air. The right answer is option D. Friction does not act on a ball moving through air. The force of friction comes into play between two surfaces, irrespective of whether the two surfaces are solids and or fluids, that is liquids or gases. The frictional force exerted by fluids is called drag. Hence, when a ball is moving through air, it experiences a drag. Question number 7. A boy rolls a rubber ball on a wooden surface. The ball travels a short distance before coming to rest. To make the same ball travel longer distance before coming to rest, he may Option A spread a carpet on the wooden surface. Option B cover the ball with a piece of cloth. Option C sprinkle talcum powder on the wooden surface. Option D sprinkle sand on the wooden surface. The right answer is option C. Sprinkle talcum powder on the wooden surface. Sprinkling talcum powder makes the wooden surface smooth and hence the wooden surface exerts lesser friction on the moving ball. This is the reason why people spread talcum powder on the carom board before playing to make the surface smooth. Question number 8. In a large commercial complex, there are four ways to reach the main road. One of the path has loose soil, the second is laid with polished marble, the third is laid with bricks and the fourth has gravel surface. It is raining heavily and Pahali wishes to reach the main road. The path on which she is least likely to slip is Option A Loose Soil Option B Polished Marble Option C Bricks Option D Gravel The right answer is Option D Gravel Gravel will make the surface rough and will increase the force of friction Hence, Pahali is least likely to slip on the path laid with gravel. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Objective Question Answer MCQs. And always remember, never stops learning because life never stops teaching.